what is up everybody we are here at waverly lake it has already been a week since they stocked the brood trout but we are trying the water is super super muddy reminds me of chocolate milk it is crazy but we're gonna try and see what we can do i think uh we're gonna try right here where they where they put the fish for a little bit and then uh well if all else fails i think we're gonna run to the back where the water comes in we're gonna try and shoot uh shoot a couple lines of power bait out and see what happens so we're gonna try it out my dad was right here last time right here by the dock and uh he slammed one i think it's like maybe two three days after they stocked it so we decided just to come right here hopefully uh hopefully something happens here soon it is pretty late in the day it's already around i think it's already like 10 45 right now so we had a little late start to the day but we'll see what happens it's still pretty uh pretty overcast day it's super cloudy right now and uh well stay tuned guys hopefully we catch some fish and uh you guys get to see a big one caught wish me luck Ooh, that is a nasty that is a nasty fray in my line i did not see that earlier look at that wonder what got my line look at that fray right there definitely do not want to hook a fish with a giant fray in my line like that that is horrible i've had times where i've had uh i've either had a knot in my line you know my line's been frayed and well didn't end so well for me. Ended up losing a fish. I don't like I don't like losing the fish. Should have brought my uh, my garlic gel just to put on this spoon that holds a little better. This is more like a water-based kind of scent right here, so it's not as uh, clingy to the lures. So it kind of sucks. We're gonna toss this little Thomas Boyan out. And hopefully, hopefully get a fish. This is uh, this is definitely my go-to lure. So, especially when these brooders are all around, definitely my go-to. So, let's see what's up. I think I'm gonna head over there where my dad's at. He just said that there was one swimming right by the dock. So, hopefully, hopefully we get one. Just had two bites, I have no idea what it was. But I just got two bites right here on that. We got a brooder, guys. We got a brooder. We got a brooder down here, guys. Oh, we got one right here, guys. Let's start bringing it over here. I can actually grab it. I wish I would have brought my net. 
<clears throat> get a couple pictures of her and then we're gonna let her go. There it goes, guys. It's back out there. That's pretty cool. GoPro, stop recording. Got a little guy. We got it on the Thomas Boyant. <laughs> we got a little guy. And over here, we're definitely gonna get our hands wet. Hopefully, the water's not too deep right there. I can't believe this little guy hit it. Got it. Get our hands wet. We are good. Look at that. Got him right in the front. Oh, poor little guy, he's got a messed up gill plate. Not a bad fish. Look at that. <laughs> Just in this little area, guys. Freaking awesome. Let this guy go. Nice little fish. There he goes. Back into the water, guys. <laughs> I got a little guy. I was trying to go after these bigger ones that are right here, and I got a little guy. Jeez Louise. That's so funny. What is up with these little guys, man? That hook was going straight for them. There's two of them just hanging out in a little pocket right there. Well, we got another little one, guys. Not bad. Can't argue with uh, catching some nice little trout. Got the hand wet. Not a bad one. Pretty decent size. Heck yeah, guys. Not a bad day. Three little ones, one big one. Can't argue with that, guys. Look at that. Almost instantly gone. <laughs> Here, got you, man. It's a dirty boy, man. <laughs> Here, man, I'll let you check it out see if that's good. Well guys, not a bad day. Got three small ones, one brooder over there in the little spillway. Right when I got there, man, I slammed one right with a little millworm and a little bobber set up right here. Definitely had to go a lot shorter than I thought. And uh, got a bunch of, well actually I got three little ones on the spoon and one, a couple on the, the millworm also. And uh, seen a bunch of big ones, man, but they just did not wanna, they just didn't wanna go for the lure. So <sighs> it was okay, not a bad day. I uh, did meet a subscriber down there named Ashton, really cool guy. Threw him a couple lures. He's still fishing. He caught a brooder right in front of me, so that was pretty cool. And uh, yeah, guys, hopefully uh, hopefully he still keeps slamming them. He let that one go, and uh, he's going to continue. I've already been here for quite a while, so big shout out to Ashton for showing me a couple of the fish that were over there too and a couple of the lures that he uses for that. So if you're watching this video, Ashton, hopefully you catch another one. Hopefully you catch some on the lures that I gave you, and... Uh, I wish you luck, man. And uh, yeah, we'll see what's up. Definitely throw you guys some gear if you need anything or if you guys need basically anything, I'll throw it at you guys, I really don't care. If you guys don't mind being recorded, and uh, I'll show you guys his face, give you guys a little shout out at the end of the video. And uh, yeah, I think we are done for the day, guys. My dad's hungry, I'm hungry. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time.